march then. belated Father's Day to everybody out there and all you fathers and uh, probably some of you bad mothers too if you know what I mean. Um, anyway today by request we are doing Large Time which is the Atlanta Rhythm Section's kind of tribute to Leonard Skinner and it certainly sounds a lot like a Leonard Skinner riff. We're gonna do the main riff, we're gonna do the bridge. A lot of fun on this one. Okay see you in just a few. Well I hope you all had a great Father's Day and I know I did but uh, the morning didn't go so well. Uh, true story, I was changing the strings on my Reverend Buckshot. It's got uh, easy lock tuners and I was thinking, man, these are so great, so quick to change everything and uh, I don't put them on all my guitars and just then I broke off the high E string in the tuner, spent the rest of the morning hacking my hand up trying to get it out. Anyway, if you've ever had that happen, I can empathize, brother. Okay, let's... Um, uh, Atlanta Rhythm Section, large time, uh, tribute to Leonard Skinner. Get some dirt on your guitar and let's learn this puppy. Okay, first, uh, first up is the intro riff. Goes like this. <laughs> I like to think of it pretty simple but effective. I like to think of this as the Ted Nugent riff or a stranglehold riff. Starts out with that drone on the A. You're gonna play on the fourth string. That's a fifth, a fifth string. On the fourth string, you're gonna play the fourth hammer on to the seventh. I'm sorry, the fifth fret hammer on to the seventh. Then you're gonna play this thing right here, this double stop on the fifth fret second and third strings, and you know the drill, you're gonna bend it up a little bit to make it a little bit raunchy. Like so. Okay? Second time around you play it, you're gonna play this little uh, thing at the end, which is just a little bend. All right, so you're bending up on the seventh, third string, seventh fret, pulling it off, uh, bending it up, pull it back, Pull it off to the fifth, play a seventh on the fourth string. All right, here's how the whole thing sounds. All right, that's the first part. Here is the second riff. This is the trickiest one, I think, because it's uh, kind of uh, syncopated. So you know, it's often tricky for me to get in the groove of it. All right, here goes. All right, so it starts out with this little double stop in on A, or in A, which is really the top two strings, the first and second on the fifth fret. All right, which is just a little spacer. And then he's gonna pull off, which is the, uh, on the second string, four, three, and one. All right, same as this right here. But we're just playing it in the first position. Now you've gotta wait just this quarter note 
and then play this, which is the A on the sec on the third string, second fret. And I play a little spacer note, which is usually an open D string. All right, like so. All right, let's practice that a little bit. Now, you don't have to play the open D. You can play the second fret uh, on the D string as well. Or you can play nothing and just play. It's all going to sound good. Um, it's all going to sound good. That's just what I do to keep that syncopation, all right? Here's the, what I think is the hardest part. As soon as you play that A note, you got to play this. You got to start out with that riff, okay? So that riff is, or that lick is open D, open fourth string, and you play one, two, you hammer out to the one, two, and, and then the open uh, third string. Open fourth string. And then that C, bend it up a little bit, and then uh, play it open to the open A, like so. And then hit a little power A. times, get it mechanically down, and then eventually you'll get that feel. Uh, that is a tough one. All right. Uh, after you play that few times, um, the, the third time around, I think it's a, the fourth time you're playing it. is like this okay so it's uh, you're gonna play uh, back up to this position right here you're gonna play on the fifth string uh, five six seven and then a double stop on the four and three strings you play that twice then you play this which is eight and nine on the fifth string, and then you're playing this double stop on the seventh on the four and three strings. And then you're playing seven on the fifth, and again, that those those two, that five, that double stop on the five, four and three, uh, five, fifth fret, four and three strings. Okay, like this, here it is. Then it's this. So that's just your double stomp on the seventh, two and three strings now. Give them a little bit of a bend. And here I'm going a little out of tune now from all the bending. So here we go. So double stop on the seventh, double stop on the fifth, and then you play. So that's just um, on a fourth string, you're going to play seven, five, and then you're going to walk down seven, six, five, eight, bend it up a little bit, then skip a string and play the A on the seventh fret, fourth string. Here's the whole thing together. Okay, here's the home stretch now, guys and gals. Here, let's play the whole thing. Let's try that one more time. So that 
one is um, you're going up, you're walking up to a, from the A to a B seventh chord. And you're going to play that B seventh chord twice. Okay. Now you're going to walk up to an E from the D. And then you play this lick. Okay, so you're walking up on the four strings, uh, zero, open, first, second, open E, it's the sixth string, so you're playing the open E, then you're jumping to the E on the fourth string, second fret, playing on the sixth string. This is tough because you're jumping between sixth and fourth quite a bit, so it's a little string skipping. So you're playing um, open E, E on the E on the fourth string second fret, and then you're playing three, four, and hammering on. Back up to that fourth string second fret. And then you're playing three and four on the fifth string. And power chord A back into your regular riff. Okay, let's see, what else? Then there's the bridge. Last time through, it's a bridge, um, which starts out with just the, the same as the intro. But the second time through, it does this. Here, you're playing a bunch of double stops, okay, and it's mostly on the third and second string. So it starts off by playing on a third string nine, on the second string eight, then seven, seven, then five, five, and then you rock it on the fourth string, then you do it again, but at a little bit higher speed. Again, let's play that really slowly. Then you do it again. And then this time you do. So little riff goes open, uh, open fourth string, first and second, and then open third string, walk it back down, second on the fourth, uh, first on the, on the fourth. No, you don't walk it down, sorry about that. You play it up, uh, open on the fourth, first on the fourth, second on the fourth, and then open third. And then walk it down by open D, third string, bend a little bit, and open A. And then you play the Hendrix chord. E ninth, raised ninth. Okay, E raised ninth. Okay, basically this is um, starting from the fifth string, you're going to play the seventh fret. Fourth string, you're going to play the fourth fret or the sixth fret. Third string, you're going to play the seventh. And then that note on the second string, you're going to play the eighth. Then you go back and do the riff. That's it. It's it's really kind of tricky, and uh, play it over and over and until you memorize those uh, those riffs. It's going to be tough. Download the tab, and hopefully that'll help you a lot. Okay, gang. Until later, uh, we'll see you on down the road. Bye bye.